everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human! So, we just found the people of Jericho. And let's continue. I'm guessing we're going to play as Kara. That's the feeling I'm having. Nope! Connor! Okay! I have a wrong feeling. <laughs> Often I have the wrong feeling, guys. <laughs> My intuition isn't great. So he's still neutral against us. I would love to get him to warm. Reconcile Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. I'm going to try. If I can. But I feel like I always do the wrong thing with Lieutenant Anderson. But to be fair, some options, like, how can I know that? Like, how could I know about the, the baseball, for example? It seems like a great question to bond over, but <laughs> apparently it was wrong. Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Oops. See? Detroit food hygiene. License expired, renewal refused. Ooh. Okay. Shady stuff going on. Let's not buy food here. Not that we can eat as an android, but. Abdar Pedro, unemployed criminal record, illegal gambling and fraud. Hmm. Case Gary. Oh, that unlocked something. Business owner, criminal record, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson Hank, police attend, criminal record, none. Okay. Oh, what's with his fingers? Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. Hmm. I love He's Connor. He's so cool. Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> but like the cutest, like most handsome little poodle ever. <laughs> apologize for behavior, partner, reconcile. Let's let's apologize. You can never go wrong with an apology, right? I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology. <laughs> Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? <laughs> Here you go. Let's scan that first. Hamburger. Okay. Loads of calories, I guess they want to tell us. And an XL soda. Pineapple passion. Well, that doesn't sound too nice, actually. 710 calories. Whew. Anything else? We already scanned them. We can see that because it's blue. Okay. Oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a <laughs> chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> That's true. See? I'm coming for you. <laughs> Gambling cholesterol company. I don't That's want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. <laughs> well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Really? Huh. Okay. I'm not going to ask about. I'm going to say enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Don't want to make it worse. There's an option we're missing. I'm going to ask about. Is there anything Connor. you'd like to know about me? Hell no. <laughs> well, yeah. Um. Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Excuse me. He looks so handsome, and the voice is great. I love the voice. And voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Ask about the deviants, maybe? I don't maybe want to make him angry. We know about We're deviants. missing an option. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Hmm. Okay. Emotions always screw everything up. Yep. 
The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Hank and androids? That, I, I mean, that seemed like a good Lieutenant? point to ask about it. Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Yeah. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and... You spend a lot of time in bars. I just don't want to lie. So what's your conclusion? I don't feel like you would be the person to appreciate lies. Sincere? I'm gonna go with I sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> Did he wink? Did he wink? Oh, wait, wait. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. Okay, I feel like we did this well. We're missing one option, though. I wonder I'll be in the car why we missed that option. Maybe because I didn't ask about the gambling and the burger? But I feel like we're just going to have told him, like, you shouldn't eat this, and he wouldn't appreciate that. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. <laughs> Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? <laughs> no. I'm coming. <laughs> I like them together. They're great together. Question the suspect, okay? Right, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Give me a second. Okay, I don't think there will be anything there. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Right. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding in... LED under his cap? LED under Heathers. his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise... We're gonna need more cops. <laughs> we're gonna need more cops. Okay. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? <laughs> Correct. Shit. Wish I could Impressed? do that. Impressed? Mm-hmm. Are we done having conversation? I don't want to miss any conversation. Hmm. Can I knock again? Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Oh, controllers vibrating. Get behind me. Got it. Very quickly. Oh, question the subject. Okay. Oh, wait, there's something here though. Ooh. <laughs> Might not be the time, but. Red Ice uh, Epidemic. The latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. NATO Security Council divide over Arctic disputes. UN warns of World War III. I hope it's paused right now, the game. Synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Socialist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As cyberlized androids spread across the country, they will bring red eyes with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in Android's blue blood, is among the active agents in red eyes. Yeah, we saw that already. And has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention, NANP, says the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. Okay. 
America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red Eyes dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. Yeah, so are they like milking androids for their Ethereum to make red eyes? I wouldn't be surprised about that. Especially if the Ethereum is difficult to come by. Green Earth. Past the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Bees officially extinct. Global famine to follow. Yeah, we saw that already. Unprecedented hurricanes all across Midwest. Environmentalists have long warned us about a tippling point. T <laughs> tipping point, not tippling. <laughs> the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% in 2000 and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Yeah, I mean, this is very realistic though. We're, we're close to that. Jason Rees, head of the Global Environment ANG, said, This study confirms what many of us have suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources, from energy to minerals which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Rees' comments as discouraging people from taking action. But Rees has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. What the Can we fuck go in there? This? I don't think so. Investigate uh, the apartment. Okay, Jesus, cool. this place stinks. So the feathers were from doves, I guess. <laughs> Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Driver's license. Rupert Travis. Authenticity. The driver's license is fake. Forged. Cool. At least okay. we didn't come for nothing. Military jacket. Initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. I mean, he looked young, though. Not that young, but... Suspect cares for wild animals. Hmm. Wait, 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 what did it say? Give me... Confirm suspect is deviant. Find cause of loud noise. Suspect nice doesn't eat. Air. So is an android. Is there anything else here? Around the corner, doesn't look like it. Something behind this. There's something behind this. Urban farm poster. Fields in the heart of the city, Detroit. Fruits and vegetables are in town. Urban farms of Detroit. Poster corner, yeah. 100% recycled paper recently from, recently moved. Something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Just want to see if I can do something with this. I hope this is not where he is. Just doves, okay. Now we have the bathroom left, right? Let's 
so many doves. So we see all of these symbols. Our shadow? Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! Oh, AR9. AR9 everywhere. Any idea what it means? RA9. I keep saying AR9, am I not? Times. God. <laughs> it's the same My time bad. Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Hmm. Why are they obsessed with this sign? I hope I didn't miss Looks anything. Like mazes or something. Because there was a mirror or the sink. Obsessive compulsive writing. First, I want to look here. Take real books. I thought I was the last guy to try. Oh, another one that took out his LED. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. Yeah. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. But he cares for the animals, though. Blue blood. Reported missing. Okay. Wooden still recently disturbed trace of avian fecal, ma fecal matter. I'm guessing the avians are doves. <laughs> or pigeons? I don't know what the difference is, guys. Open marker pen. Still wet used recently. Color midnight mood. Black. I mean, that's what he used to write AR9 with, right? Reconstruct. Suspect was here recently. Just want to go from here and then see. So he wrote, hurt us, fell down. Ran to the living room. Okay. That job was actually feeding these fuckers. Fell over the cage, maybe? Skid mark recently. Traces of galvanized steel? Finger marks recent. Trace of avian fecal matter, no fingerprints. Why does it say finger marks recent and then say no fingerprints? Oh, finger marks, as in we can see that someone grabbed onto this, but there's no fingerprints because it's a deviant. Okay, 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 I see. Metal hoop, recently broken, 100% stainless steel. Let's see what happened. It was hanging here. He bumped into it, yeah. Fell down. To move the camera. Heard his enter. Oh, he fell so many times. Poor guy. Is still here. Okay. Well, there we go. Whew. Expose the suspect. Can we just for once not do that, please? This poor guy, he was just here feeding pigeons. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> Guess we're running! Scan. Easy to slow, fast but risky. I'm going for fast but risky. Balance, you ready to her fast but risky. Just gotta nail my, my things. Right with Crowder. Save her detour. I feel like that might be better. If it's crowded, then it should be easy to do, right? I 
feel the adrenaline. Damn. Should I have gone for the faster route? Oh, wait. The right was still fast but risky. Fast but risky. Fast but risky. Just gotta nail my, my quick time events. You, Lieutenant. Hey, Save slow, direct, but crowded. I'm going for the crowded this time. Look out. Okay. I see what we're doing. Can't freaking see him. Oh, there we go. Oh no, we're helping him. We're helping Lieutenant Anderson. Save Hank. Yeah, definitely. Sovereign stability's up. I made the decision quickly. Can we still go after him? Can we still go after him? I did it so quickly. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it were. Friend. Oh. That's all right. Friend. We know what it looks like. I'm happy we didn't catch him though. I don't actually want to catch him, but I do want to do well. <laughs> hey, Connor. Nothing. Oh, he wanted to say things. He wanted to say things. I got you. Don't worry. I got you, Lieutenant. <laughs> This was an awesome chapter. Achievement unlocked. Save Hank. I love this. This was great. Ru oh, his name is Rupert. Rupert got away. So the other option is that we caught him, but I wonder if Hank would have died? No, probably not died, I'm guessing, but let's see. Only 70% completed. Then Ness. Public opinion is still skeptical. Software instability is still question mark. But we saw that the instability went up. Hank is now a friend! Ooh! And Amanda is trusted. We didn't see Amanda at all. So, there was another option, I guess, to not talk to Hank? I wonder what we missed there. Be frank with Hank, warn Hank about his friends, and then there is another thing that we didn't do. Hmm. I guess talk about the hamburger and stuff like that, and the gambling. In the elevator, did all of this, find a diary. We missed something, though. Oh, no. With the whole outcome. I wonder what we missed. I tried so hard. <laughs> tried so hard to find everything. Oh, I feel so sad now. Okay, well. Then here, gaining on Rupert. Which is good. We could have maybe not been gaining or losing on Rupert, I'm guessing. Here, maybe we could have lost him already or caught him already. One of the, I think maybe we could have caught him here. If we were fast enough, maybe. <laughs> then Rupert pushes Hank, and then we could have saved Hank or not saved him. 67% saved him. So maybe here we would have lost him, here we would have caught him, and here he also got away. No. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think anyone would have died here. <laughs> hmm. Let's continue. Oh, there we go. That feels Who are a bit you? scary. Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Ask about Jericho? This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Are they free? And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. Mm. There is no I safe understand. place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. 
I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but mm. here we have no master. No, I we don't understand. belong to anybody. It might I understand not be perfect life, but they are free. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Mm -hmm. Lost, I guess. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. Mm, that's a bit harsh, You're lost. Marcus. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Do all of them still have their LED? I didn't really notice. Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jericho. And one other option. <laughs> yeah, let's start some fires, please. Let's make this place a little bit nicer. <laughs> Did you guys even try? <laughs> if you're going to be living here all the time anyway, at least, you know, like spruce it up a little. There's a lot to do. Okay. I'm going to try my best to do it all. He made it here. He is also missing a shoe. We saw someone like that before. I'm in very good shape, am I? No. My diagnostic program isn't working. No. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. Jesus. I think they wanted to have fun. Jesus. I don't want to shut down. Shut down. Oh. oh no. Can we not help you? Can we not help you? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else in this corner. stuck with her. Can we get this? Can we look at that? No. North. Okay. Time here, Wuna Jericho, you. Time here. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Spare parts? Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? Yeah, I want to save them. It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. We, we could do that. You? What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Just wanted to show some interest. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Well, <laughs> screw that up again. <laughs> My bad. Let's start another fire. <laughs> Let's make it all nice and cozy here, guys. <laughs> So we can do something there, we can start another fire, someone there, maybe start another fire? Can we not talk to Simon? The blonde, blonde guy? His name was Simon, right? I think? Crate already emptied, yeah. 
would make sense that they would get all the parts that they could. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Well, let's try to go there, maybe? And get more? Calculating route, there we go. Go, Marcus. I don't feel done exploring yet. <laughs> don't tell me I'm done. <laughs> There's many things still to do. Oh. RA9. Is that the same though? I thought that was the same as Jericho, but now I'm kind of doubting that? Maybe it isn't. Yeah, we saw someone here. Oh no. Oh no. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. How is that? They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We sell what we can from more. those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Can I not talk to you? Doesn't look like it. I thought oh. humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? Oh. No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, no. No, this is so sad. guessing we have to go here but we're going to do that next episode <laughs> so we're going to end here for now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye